Hey everybody, Arnie Pelconan here from EcoCycle.ca and today we are talking about gearboxes. So the first question you need to ask yourself, why do I even want a gearbox? And the answer is simple, because you want to go in reverse. And that is the primary reason that you would install a gearbox in your engine driven project is because you want to have the capability to reverse your drive so you can back up or change direction or spin your shaft another way or whatever it is you're going to be doing with your engine drive. Uh, but that is the primary reason of the gearbox. So there are two types of gearbox that are commonly available on the market and one is a lot more prolific than the other. This guy here, this is the 30 series reverse gearbox and this can be found on Amazon. If you're interested, you can go to our website, ecocycle.ca, and there's a link there. Uh, but these are really popular. Um, eBay, Amazon, there's a host of power sports retailers across the US that sell these, and you can get them pretty well anywhere. They're good for about seven horsepower, plus or minus, at least that's what they're rated for. At least that's what I've read on the specifications. And I've been running one pretty hard for several seasons now, and it's held up just fine. Um, it uses the 30 series CVT clutch uh, belt drive. And uh, this shaft here is uh, 5 eighths of an inch. So if you have um, a 212 Predator type engine, uh, basically anything that kind of looks like this here, this uh, comes in 196 to now they're up upwards of 240 cc's with the uh, the 240 Wildcats or kind of more of a race engine. But you can buy your 212 Predator at Harbor Freight for $100 US still if you get one on sale. And Princess Auto here in Canada, you can still get them for around $150 Canadian. So very common engine very uh, lightweight uh, this this guy is about seven pounds and um, this is what the 212 power pack bracket is designed for this guy right here this one is a 40 series uh, gearbox and it is designed for engines I think the ratings that I've seen and you can't really hold too much in these ratings but uh, maybe 16, 17 horsepower, and they're designed for the bigger block version. These are, all these engines, these are all based off of Honda GX engines, these clone motors. So uh, this is um, what would have been the GX, uh, I don't know, 190 or 200 or something like that. And these, this one here, this is a 420cc, same as GX 390. These engines now, these 420s, they're available in up to 500 cc's. So they're big, everything is bigger. The engine's bigger, the gearboxes are bigger, the clutches are bigger, bigger and heavier. So if you're just building something to run around your yard with, a little go-kart for your kids maybe, a mini bike, these uh, small block 212 Predator style motors are all you're gonna need. If you're building like a cross cart or you just want to have the capability to have a lot more power and torque, then you can definitely step up to the big block. So everything is twice or twice as heavy, twice as expensive. And um, they're just they're just twice. They probably burn twice the fuel. I haven't actually been running one of these yet. But uh, yeah, so, um, so those are some of the applications. So uh whatever you're building uh hopefully one of these gearboxes will suit your needs okay so let's get into the specifics of these guys here so uh as you can see they're physically different this uh this weighs in at around seven pounds and this one weighs in at around 15 pounds so basically twice as heavy these guys typically come with a 35 or a uh, 41 420 series uh, sprocket and you can just uh, take this little c-clip out of here and you can exchange those sprockets out for whatever drive system you're running uh, the 35 chain K 
comes with a 12 tooth sprocket and the 40 is a 10 tooth sprocket so you're just going to have to figure that out but uh, as far as gear ratios go so if you have a say you have a 10 tooth driver on this gearbox and you have a 40 tooth on your rear axle that's four to one so it depends what you're using your project for you're gonna have to figure your gearing out for yourself but uh six to seven to one is probably in the ballpark of where you're gonna be for most applications the bigger tire you need the more gear reduction you need because that all factors into the final drive ratio and um, if you're running a large tire and you can certainly run a large tire with a small block uh, power pack and and uh, engine uh, but you just need to gear that appropriately so that the engine has the gear reduction in order to spin it so the bigger the tire um, the more gear reduction you have the faster the engine's going to spin and the basically the slower you're going to go because you're, you're going to have to move a big giant tire but that's true with anything so um, that's the generalization Okay, so yeah, so this guy here, um, it takes about 250 milliliters of GL5 oil, and you can probably get one of these gearboxes uh, for well under $200, at least here in Canada, they're even cheaper in the US, and uh, much more readily available. The, uh, the big blocks, these guys are not really that common right now, so there's, uh, I think they're a relatively new product on the market uh, but uh, I do have some for sale on the website if you're interested in procuring one I don't have uh, a large stock so make sure you order yours today I will ship it across the US for free uh, just so you know that um, so the prices are in Canadian dollars so if you're an American and uh, you're gonna get like a 30% discount just by virtue of uh, the exchange rate the 40 series gearbox uses a 530 drive sprocket and i wish that they had something a little bit lighter duty because that's a big ass big heavy chain and you would find that on like a, a high performance street bike and i don't really think that's warranted for you know a sub 20 horsepower engine but that's what it comes with. I am talking with the supplier right now about perhaps offering a 420 uh, sprocket option, but uh, that's, uh, that's in the works here. So yeah, so they're both great choices. Um, the small block power pack is far better developed, uh, at least for, from my end. So you can order one of these brackets today from ecocycle.ca and your gearbox will fit right within the confines of this uh, bracket and you can just it'll just slip stick right in there it comes with all the hardware it puts all your clutches on the pro appropriate centers right off of the bat and you're off to the races so um so yeah so check out uh, ecocycle.ca for a power pack bracket and uh you'll also notice on the power pack bracket that there is a provision for a jack shaft so if you do not get the gear ratio you want you can add a jack shaft and that's going to give you an instantaneous three to one gear reduction um, right off of the uh, uh, the output driver of this uh, gearbox okay so uh, back to gear reduction here so we talked about uh, the basics of your final drive ratio so we use an example of a 10 tooth driver here and say you have a 40 two sprocket so you're gonna get a four to one gear reduction 10 40 four to one okay now uh, th these neither one of these gearboxes is uh, one to one meaning um, if your input shafts this is where your secondary clutch is gonna bolt on here so if this spins one time this bottom sprocket here is gonna spin less than one time so um, this is a, has a ratio of, uh, it's basically 1.1 1. 1 to 1.25. So it's, it's, you're going to take that 1.25 and then you're going to multiply it by your four to one gear ratio. And that four times 1.25 is five. So basically you're going to get a five to one gear ratio with this box. Now, if we use that same example with this one, this one's got a two to one ratio. Okay. So that means that this input shaft spins twice 
for every rotation of this output. Okay, this is where your drive, drive chain goes. So, so you got a built-in two to one gear ratio right into the big block power pack, or sorry, the big block gearbox. We haven't built the big block, or we built a couple of big block power packs, but we're developing that. So I hope to offer a solution for the big block in the very near future. As a matter of fact, if you want to pre-order one, I will put the link up on the website today and um, you can get one of the very first ones and you can be my uh, my tester if you're interested in doing that. But uh, anyway, so uh, this has got a two to one gear reduction built into it. So now let's use the same example, 10 tooth on the gearbox, 40 tooth on the axle. So two to one, so now you've got an eight to one. So four to, four to one times two, eight to one. So we're not gonna need a jack shaft on the big block power pack. And uh, we're just gonna run this direct because all the gearing's built into the gearbox already. So, so yeah, so that's, uh, that's about it for these two gearboxes. So um, like I, I mentioned, the small block, it, it's, it's developed, it's ready to go. There's units out there. All this stuff is ready available. It's the cheapest option by far and uh, you can go and you can order your stuff today and you can have your engine drive together uh, by this time next week. So uh, if you want a small block uh, power pack, then uh, please check out our website. I don't sell these gearboxes direct, but I do have all the Amazon affiliate links. So if you wanna order a gearbox, I tried to find ones with the uh, cheapest price in Canada and the US. So if you can order off uh, my website, uh, www.ecocycle.ca, that would really help me out and I would really appreciate that. And um, we can get you set up for a small block power pack. So yeah, so uh, we're continuing the journey here. So uh, as you may have noticed, we've got axle bracket kits coming online. We just did a IRS spool for the power pack. Um, this is the power pack bracket. We're, cr we're coming up with a engine cradle that I'm gonna, uh, I'm just gonna give you guys the drawing for. And you can uh, you can just R and D research and duplicate that off of my website, or I might even offer that one for sale too if you uh, if you want to save yourself the hassle of putting that together. And uh, yeah, my goal here is just to provide you with a one stop driveline solution that's going to have your engine, your gearbox, your battery, mounts all your clutches, puts everything in perfect alignment. Um, is fully adjustable to your axle, IRS, everything that you could want in your go-kart or whatever project that you happen to be making. So if that appeals to you, please check out ecocycle.ca and um, you know, give us a follow. We also have YouTube. I mentioned Ecocycle Vehicle Technologies. I would really appreciate some more followers because uh, we don't have too many right now. Just starting out here with all this. So uh, yeah, so there you go. So uh, again, I'm Arnie. And uh, I hope that you find some usefulness in this video and, uh, and you see the appeal of the power pack. So yeah, so good luck with your project. Can't wait to see what you're building. See ya.